for creating a customized character, first you want to use Aya or Jules. There's, these two in particular have extra files with them. Bishop also does, but we don't use Bishop anymore as often. Using Aya, since she has extra options than Jules, we're going to throw Aya into our Maya scene, come over to our Extras folder, and also throw in the Extras file as well. There's also an Instructions folder. There's both a text file and a video file. If you ever get lost, check up on those. For making our customizations, it's going to be the little H. T B S A controls on the ground. They're going to be next to Aya's root. But first, before we do that, we want to select our root, change body selectable from off to on, and then whatever body type you plan on rendering in is what you want to select between low and high. So if you need to work in low but render on high, you will be able to make those changes. So if we want to render on high, we're going to select high on body resolution. And now we can take Aya's clothing and hide them. Don't delete them. In particular, the shoes will be on the root control. That's an easy one. So shoe viz set to off. We're going to take the pants visibility off shirt visibility off and the hair visibility off the htbsa each stands for their own category so h is for hair in the channel box you're going to see mod 1 through 13 right now they're set to hidden if you want to use one you need to set it to show you can either Click them and hit show or slide, whichever you prefer. But on Aya, we'll have her head in place. Keep her stance, her T-pose into default. So for T, tops, same thing as the hair, hidden to show. B, bottoms, hidden to show. S, the shoes are in particular may have heels. There's going to be an extra change on the feet for those. So we're going to try to get those in. So right now they're high heels. I don't remember the exact number, but that's why we can check the instruction file. And in particular for the high heels, the foot roll is 40. The foot break is set to 65. And the leg stretch is set to negative 0.8. That's going to be the little square control under her feet. So we'll get those in. So before we make our changes to the legs, we need to bind, we need to wrap the clothing to eye skin. First, we want to start with the head, the hair. This is going to be a constraint, a parent constraint. So select our head first, then the hair control. Make sure you're set to animation. Constrain, parent constraint with the options box, and make sure maintain offset is checked. And then we do our check. Rotate, hair is on. Now for the clothing. Select the clothing first, then her skin. Go to the top for deform, go to wrap, the little options box, and make sure the top option, exclusive bind, is checked. Same thing for the pants. Select the pants, select your skin, deform, wrap, options box, exclusive bind, apply. Now, if we check, let's say just with the cog, awesome. For the feet, we wanted to do the, clothes, the pants first, otherwise we, they wouldn't bind well. Her legs would go through the pants. So for the heels in particular, the high heels, 
we want to set both foot rolls to 40. Keeping our foot break at 65, just under foot roll. And then we're going to change the leg stretch, which is the control under her feet. Just under I IKFK blend, leg stretch set to negative 0 0.8. that. Now that she fits, we're going to bind the same way. Select the shoot, select her skin, deform, wrap, exclusive. Now if we do a quick test, reputation's good. But roll also works. Now that we've made our customizations to Aya, Jules as well, Bishop as well, all the extra items that we aren't using, we want to delete them. They block up a huge part of the file. We want to keep the file size as low as possible. So just go through the outliner for extras. All the tabs, everything that's dark gray is something that is hidden. Go ahead and select it and delete. We only want to keep the ones we're using. This also includes the controls at the bottom. We don't need those anymore. We've made our selection. You may notice with some of the hair that the joints are visible. That's okay. Just use the controls. So now that we have our character, we need to save them. Just like a normal file, save, save as. The reason you make it a separate file instead of referencing everything in is that, let's say if you want to make changes later, you can do so and it'll automatically update into your scene. Create a new scene. Now let's reference in our character. Everything works. If you want to make a change, make sure to turn off body selectable. The shrink body and correctives on the root control may change the clothing as well. If something goes wrong, you can always check those. Know that with the master scale, some clothing may break. Specifically on jewels, a collared shirt will break if you scale them down too far. So let's say 0 0.1 scale. Things tend to break. Just be careful with that. And if high poly is too much, we can always go back to low. But since we specifically bound to high poly, the clothing will not move with low poly. It's technically a hidden texture, so now that we're seeing the old one. That's okay. We can always change it. The we can always bring the clothing back originally. just have to find it in the outliner. Setting this to proxy as well will bring up other clothing. You can kind of see it bleeding through. However, the body texture can change. And since the body texture has extra clothing as well, you can hide those. So just make sure your body's selectable and hide. Let's see what she looks like textured. Wonderful. Don't forget, facial controls, they should work just as fine. The hair controls will not apply to the hair that you've added. Don't forget to turn body selectable off. <laughs> Something you may run into is that even though the body selectable is on or off, the clothing themselves may still be selectable. If you want to turn those off, come over to the attribute editor. I believe it's in object display. Uh, drawing overrides. Turn on enable overrides. Display type from normal to reference.
that will make it so that we can't grab the clothing. However, in a scenario where you did make an exclusive bind to both the high and low poly bodies, we're going to go ahead and do that just to see how to undo it. Body resolution, high to low, clothing, skin, deform, rep, exclusive bind. So we're on this piece of clothing, we're going to see both wrap one and wrap five. We have two wraps on one piece of clothing. It's going to cause our scene to severely lag. It's going to create a lot of problems. So if, if, if I even just try, it's much worse than before. So to undo that, we need to go into our node editor and delete the, the wrap that we don't want. We can see that we have both wrap one and five. Go to your windows, go down just under outliner to node editor. And in particular, we're gonna see our geo for our shirt. This is the one that we have bound to both the high and low poly. Select our wrap, and we're going to insert the little plus button, add selected node to graph, that's right underneath options. And just so we can see it, we're going to also add wrap one, same button just under options. And we can see the geo is to both. But since we only have one currently active, we're only going to see one outcome. But both are affecting the shirt. So while we're in the node editor, we don't want to have wrap 5. Wrap 5 is to the low poly. We just want it to the high poly. Go ahead, hit delete on the one that you don't want. But while you're in the node editor, things are permanent. So if you make any deletions to something wrong, you can't necessarily get it back. If that ever happens, just close Maya, don't save, go off of where you left off. Now that we only have one wrap, it should not move to our low poly. Perfect. Dot moving. And just to double check, we come back to high poly. The legs move, so we're probably good. Look at that. We're back to one rep. If, if you ever get lost, come back to the instructions file. There's a, there's a MP4 version. You can listen to it, or you can read through the instructions on the text file. Jules in particular, you will need to reset the arms to zero. This includes the elbows. The hands are fine. Just like Aya, we're going to make the body selectable. We're going to hide our original shirt. I believe it is this one, the long sleeve collared shirt that has scaling issues. We're going to scale him down to 0 0.1. Yeah. Jules has an issue where the shirt doesn't shrink properly, even though it's wrapped to his body. And this will include any textures you've added onto it. If you would like to change any of the coloring to any of these clothing, you can find that in the Windows Rendering Editors Hypershade. We take the one that we can see, Aya Extra. I think it's this one. That looks like the correct color. There we go. Same thing for Jules, you just have to find the correct one. If you don't want to do this the long way, you can take, select our shirt, go to the attribute editor on the side. We're going to have little arrows at the top just under help. Keep hitting over to the right till we get to our material. Now that we're here, this is a Lambert. Now we can change the color. Full dress shirt. Ooh. 
Hey, these colors actually go pretty good together. Okay, we've made our changes to the hair, but when we're in textured mode, it's not actually showing up. What we have to do is we have to go to the file path to the repath for the textures. Come up over to Windows, General Editors, File Path Editor, and we're going to see some red X's. This is what we're going to need to repath to find the file. Go ahead and select our one. Bottom left, repath files. We're going to find it. Acting, acting rigs, aya, extras, textures, and then click set. Don't select any of the files. Go ahead and repath. Suddenly, we're going to have, I did the wrong one. Yeah, we'll do it again. Same location. There we go. So now if we actually select our hair, it'll be the right. We go from gray to blonde. We started a new scene, brought in our character, brought in the extras, made our changes, deleted the old ones that we aren't using, saved it as a new file. We can now reference it in. We've gone over... Any issues if you accidentally bound or wrap to multiple polys. We've gone over making visual changes as the coloring. And then finally the file path if the textures aren't showing up. High five. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out.